Hi everybody, it's Tom from Cruising with the 4Bs and this is our review of Butcher's Cut. Butcher's Cut is an open kitchen, American style steakhouse. We visited on MSC Seaview, Preziosa and this review and guide is from MSC World Europa. It is a staple on the MSC ships and features on 13 of their ships. We paid for the four dining experience, including the garden kitchen Ola Butcher's Cut and the great show at Teppanyaki. We paid £110. Obviously, if you're paying euros, it'd be slightly less. We'll review on the channel the other restaurants coming soon. But for now, back to Butcher's Cut. And we decided to sit outside in the Galleria for some nice views. And then we tucked into the complimentary bread, which was delicious save some room for the other courses this was the kids menu it was free on preziosa and seaview but you've now got to pay 12 euros standard stuff chicken tenders mac and cheese french fries and spinach for sides there was some amazing milkshakes which we'll show you later and it also includes a drink our waiter was very attentive uh, really good but he did miss a few things including this but luckily the kids spotted it and saved us a bit of money the cocktails were mainly gin based and you've also got some non-alcoholic cocktails for kids and non-drinkers. Craft beers, stout, ale and wines by the glass on offer. It's also open for brunch. Brunch costs you 12 euros per item and 6 euros if you're feeling a little bit more peckish and you'd like a second item. There's also some smoothies and other drinks available. It costs you, if you're standalone, 47 euros for the dining experience. And you can pick off this menu, plenty of choice. Obviously it can be included like we did on a four dining experience or two or three dining experience you can purchase before or on the ship. If you're paying off the menu, here is the menu, including for starters, you can have caviar for 54 euros. Steaks are cooked to how you'd like them. And you can even have a dry-eyed tomahawk for two for 118 euros. And delicious desserts are also available and we'll show you those in a bit. We continue now taking a look at what we had on World Europa. This was the shrimp cocktail. Thumbs up from Rachel. A massive thumbs up from me with the tomato soup. This soup was delicious and also included this cheese toasty. I thought it was a bit random when I first had it, but it goes so well. Alice thought she would have a carb overload and here's some chips and the mac and cheese. She enjoyed these. While you're enjoying the pictures of these carbs, don't forget to give us a thumbs up, a like if you enjoyed this video and if you love cruise content, then press that subscribe button. It's free. So much cruise content on the way. This was my 14 ounce sirloin steak. Really enjoyed that. And unusually, I only went for one side, which was mac and cheese. One side's included in the dining experience. You have to pay for extra if you're feeling a bit greedy, which I normally am. But I was being quite sensible on this day. Rachel went with the lamb. She normally loves the lamb. I've had it before as well, and it's delicious. It started well. She was really enjoying it, but then it got a little bit fatty, unfortunately. Looking back, perhaps we should have sent it back. We didn't. But there we go, yeah, a little bit fatty. I think it was just a one-off. We've had the lamb before, really enjoyed it, and we've spoken to other people that have had the lamb, and they've also enjoyed it. So we've included some pictures of our trip on Preziosa when I had some delicious lamb. And there we go, that's me looking all nice and smug with my plenty of sauces in front of me. To complete their meal, they had the peanut butter milkshake, which they said was yummy. The kids enjoyed that you can get peanut butter and also a strawberry one don't forget to follow us on twitter for live updates instagram and also we have some funny videos on tiktok cruising with the four b's this was our pudding the lava cake hope you enjoyed this how can you not enjoy a lava cake and i went with one of my favorites it was the peanut butter cookie and normally when i'm on i also go enjoy the cheesecake uh, which I'll show you a picture of shortly. The pudding's 
in Butcher's Cut a massive thumbs up from me. Really, really enjoyed them. To summarise, we enjoyed our experience at Butcher's Cut. Is it the best speciality restaurant at sea? I don't think it is. But if you get it included in a dining package, we paid on average £28 for each dining experience in the four dining experience package. And we say that's just about right. Would we pay 47 for a one-off? I don't think we would. Anyway, don't forget the subscribe button. Don't forget that like button. Press on the screen shortly when we'll give you our full review of World Europa. But for now, all we can say is happy cruising.